Hey everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome to the channel. So today we are back in the nail room. I want to finish up organizing some nail polish. I kind of decided that after I finish Bee's Knees, I want to get in on my Heather's Hughes polishes because like... I want to. That's what I want to do next. That's what I want to do next. So yeah, if you would like to join me for some more nail polish organization, stay tuned. If you are new around here, welcome to the channel. Um, my name is Nicole. I, I have a lot of nail polish and I post about nail polish. <laughs> I vlog on occasion. Uh, earlier today, I recorded my first canning video, which will be going up before this one. Uh, so yeah, if any of that's interest to you, subscribe. If not, that's okay too. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? I'm screaming again, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Also, I want to show you what this damn cat did to my room. Fluffer Nutter was kind of locked in here. So... This is what he did to my paper towels. My makeup brushes all over the floor. He he made a mess in here. I mean, to be fair, I shouldn't have locked him in here, but I didn't know I locked him in here until I opened the door and he burst out. So, yeah. So, we left off B's knees with um purples and then I think this was organized, but these here weren't, I think. Can you not claw up my furniture, please? Nutter, you need to stop. Like, you're going from area to area messing things up, and I don't like it. Stop. Nutter, I just said no. Nutter, you're a nuisance. Also, since we're here, I I mentioned in the last vlog how, like, my neck was really bothering me. I ordered this thing called a Chirp from Amazon um, the other day during Prime Day, and I got four sizes. Like this is the big wheel. And then there's like a variety of sizes of wheels. This is the wheel that they recommend for like your neck. I rolled on this when my neck was bothering me and I actually really liked how this, this felt. You might've seen this here in the nail room a few times too. This is what I used previously when I when my back was feeling tight and I would just kind of roll on this like on the floor. So apparently the brand on this one is Pro Source. I'm pretty sure Wayne found this at Goodwill. I stole this from him. I'm liking the Chirp wheels a bit more largely because um, this one, I think this is the six inch wheel. Lately when I'm sitting in this chair because like it doesn't have great back support, I put this on the back of the chair and it helps keep me like sitting up straight. So yeah. I've been liking those a lot. Um, I guess I'll link, since I talk, I'll link them in the description box in case anyone else is curious. Black Friday's coming up soon, so like I'm sure these will go on sale again. So yeah, I'll have links for those in case anyone wants one. Cause yeah, I find them very, very handy. That's why I just keep them here in the room. Back to organizing. I'm seeing some things that I feel like might be blue. I feel like this drawer either was previously purple or I had put a lot of purples in here. So apparently I did this draw already. So I just undid what I already did. Fantastic. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I flopped. What the f Yep, all of these were already cataloged. Fantastic. Good job, Nicole. Good job. I was wondering why these were so, so organized in color order too. Because like, I was like, oh, this one was released, I remember doing this the first year I was doing Bee's Knees. Oh, this one came out this year and I thought I just... <sighs> I'm gonna leave all of that space to, to add things in and I'm gonna put these drawers away. following day um I decided that when I finished the bees knees yesterday that it was getting late enough that I wanted to spend time with Wayne so I decided I wasn't going to get started 
and just leave these in chaos all over the floor. So I just pulled them out to now have chaos all over the floor. So I pulled out four of the drawers of Heather's Hues. I'm once again going to be doing these in um, rainbow order starting with pink. A few months ago I went and did and re all of my Heather's Hues. All of the Heather's Hughes polishes that I have. So yeah, this is the majority. There's a couple of other, I've got three other drawers over there. I think only two of them are actually have stuff in them. So I get a lot of questions from people like asking what my favorite nail polish brands are. Heather's Hughes is definitely one of my favorite nail polish brands. I would dare say they're my favorite indie nail polish brand. I don't know if Heather is planning on still making nail polish though. It's more combat. It's combat. There hasn't been any new anything from the brand since like May or June. I'm feeling a little reminiscent, I guess, like looking at all of these. So like, I wanted to leave the camera on and not do a time lapse, which I know editing Nicole's gonna be very annoyed about that decision. But like, I also wanted to talk about some of the polishes in this as well, cause yeah, this is, these are some of my favorite polishes that I have, so I want to talk a little bit about them. Also, I'm currently watching uh, Linry's channel. If you're not already subscribed to Linry, please do. Like, I freaking love this person. Like, seriously, really, really fun channel. So I'm watching the Holo Taco brand review video currently. So for my Heather's Hughes collection, I currently have that sorted in one Helmer plus two drawers on a second Helmer next to it. At one point, I was trying to collect every single box bottle of Heather's Hughes polishes that have ever been released. I'm kind of going back and forth on how much I want to continue that quest, largely because like I'm just kind of bummed that you know more stuff hasn't been released and like I get it like life happens and everything but I don't know I'm undecided I am undecided. So remember I was just saying how I wasn't sure if I was going to keep buying um, older Heather's Hughes releases? <laughs> I just pulled out one polish called Grace. If memory is serving correct, I think this was originally released in like 2018, 2019, somewhere in there and I'm pretty sure it was on the Heather's Hughes website. I saw on Mercari recently that someone had this polish up in like a bundle listing and I added it to my cart. But I told myself not to check out until I verify that I don't already have it. Felt like the name sounded familiar. And usually in the cases with this brand, if the name sounds familiar, that means I likely already have it. I already have it. So yeah, good on me for not picking it up. Did I do a pile for reds too here? Hi, Dieters. Hi. Come here. What are you doing, huh? Mm. Ah! <laughs> the kiss was too much? Okay, fine. I'm gonna be a little bit more particular in my color order for these polishes, mostly because like I don't think I'll be adding to them terribly much anymore. I was just thinking like, should I really commit to the Heather's Hughes drawers not being, having a lot of things added to them anymore and just kind of pack them in so it takes up less space? Or should I like try to remain optimistic and that like the brand will continue on and I can keep adding things to the drawers? I don't know. I want, no, I'm going to be optimistic because like I don't want to believe that this is it. Oh. <laughs> um, here's a fun little story for you. This polish here, uh, Shivering and Shaking, I'll pop a picture up in the corner. It was originally released April 2022 in Helen Me Creations. So I got this one in PR. When I finished swatching it, I accidentally knocked the bottle over and it spilled like all over the place in this room. Earlier today, I was saying to myself that I need to put a rug underneath of my swatch table so that when I drop bottles, they don't break and look what happened. And like, I was able to save, like there's a lot left in the bottle, but I was so upset that like the bottle was half empty that when Hell Me Creations opened a bottle, a brand new bottle. <laughs> I bought, ask me if I've worn this. Cause if you ask me if I've worn this, no, I have not. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. I swatched this one, but I have not looked at this bottle since like I added the cabochon on it and closed it away in the Helmer. And I'm recognizing that this sounds really terrible and like I just want to be clear, I am not bragging, I am shaming myself. 
<laughs> this is me shaming myself, okay? I have a problem. I, I really, I really think I have a problem. It's not the kind of problem that I want to fix though. So like, don't worry about it. So this one here is a Heather's Hughes prototype. Fun fact, back in 2020 when I first started my blog, um, I had a blog post where I was swatching um, the Heather's Hughes prototypes that I purchased. If you weren't reading my blog back in 2020, it was basically an ode to Heather's Hughes at that point. <laughs> um, I have gone on record many, many times saying how much I hate mini size bottles. But like my love for Heather's Hughes was so strong that I decided to buy some of these prototypes in like a mystery bag. And then like after I got the prototypes, I had enough polishes in my collection for the brand that I decided to try to go through my collection and see like which prototypes match up to which releases. And I think from like the five or six mystery prototypes that I got, I think I was able to find all but like one of, of the, what the polish was released as in my collection. I, th I think the only one from that original blog post that I didn't have at the time, but now currently do was the red, which I think is the prototype for Septemberries. But yeah, I feel very confident that these are the same. <laughs> but no, I'm not de-stashing them. None of the Heather Hughes is getting de-stashed before anyone asks. They are, they are not. These are not for the de-stash pile. I know Heather has gone on record many times for saying that she doesn't like pinks, but man, I love the pinks. Love the pinks. Also, I'm really excited because a couple of these were recent acquisitions that I got in a de-stash. And I was a little concerned that they were things that I already have. But based on bottle shots, I did not buy um, things that I purchased already. I don't know when the camera turned off, but I am finishing up on the pink drawer. So in the next update for things that I bought that are kind of similar, I also bought back in the day a Heather's Hughes prototype in a mini bottle that was like a corally reddish orange. I recently purchased a custom polish from someone's D stash called Get Off the Coral. This again, this was a custom polish for this one person. And putting them side by side, they're not duplicates by any means. But I do wonder if these were made around the same time. So here is where I decided that I was in fact going to condense my Heather Hughes drawers just like a little bit. So instead of like a pink drawer, a red drawer, orange drawer like that, I decided to condense pinks and reds together and orange and yellows and so on and so forth. Don't get me wrong, like I really, really, really want the brand to come back, but I kind of was just like, I should probably make space for the things that I know that are gonna be filling my collection a little bit more. So I was just like, yeah, I'll condense, but I will still leave a couple of empty drawers in the Heather's Hughes helmet just in case Heather does come back from her break. And with the way some brands are releasing like a dozen polishes a month, like I need to prioritize space for what I know is likely to be coming in versus what does not seem like it is going to be coming in. But fingers crossed, folks. Alrighty, we have the pinks and reds drawer with, you know, a little bit of space for growth. So I was just going through some of my polishes. I bought these, what year is this? 2019 is when I got these and these were like neon corals and they have really completely <laughs> changed colors, which kind of sucks, but you know, is the nature of having neons that they will, you know change colors. Well, fade, I guess I should say they fade. I think this one here without a label is my second bottle of Beat the Heat. Like I'm, I remember Heather sending me a second one um, in PR because my first one had faded. So I think that's what this one is because it looks exactly the same as the Beat the Heat from over here. It looks like all of my neon corals except for this one seem to have faded significantly.
for the first time in many years, my Heather's Hughes oranges, yellows, and greens are all together in one drawer. I have a lot less teals than I thought that I did, but I think I'm also gonna put teals into this drawer as well. From what I remember the last time I had Heather's Hughes organized that I had, oh my God. I guess that means Wayne's home. Last time I had Heather's Hughes organized, I had more purples that could fit into one drawer. So I think I'm gonna dedicate two drawers just to Heather's Hughes purples. And then um, green and teal, no, blue and teal are gonna go together. And then blacks, grays, whites, and then multi-chromes that didn't seem to, I couldn't decide are also gonna go in that drawer. And um, yeah, that's it. Hi, Sats. Okay, in case you missed it, Sassy got sprayed by a skunk recently, so she currently stinks. Yeah, I was really hoping that since it rained today, that the rain would, you know, wash off some of the funk, but no, now she just smells like skunk and wet dog. So, fun times, fun times. I am back. We got all, all the kitty cat. Well, not all. We got most of the kitty cat. I mean, I'm glad that you're cut off just enough so people have to sit here watching you lick your butt. I kind of feel like that might be a hard ask of people. Okie dokie, artichoke, okie okie okie, artichoke. This one used to be teal. <laughs> it's a thermal. You can kind of see the color up top. I don't know. I don't. can't tell if it's focusing or not. And now it's like an interesting looking white. Okay. Dieter, you and I both know Stormy does not want to play with you. I appreciate you trying to get her to play, but we both know this is not going to end well. This is why my carpet always has catnip all over it. So I just sprinkle it all over the rug here so the cats can have a good time. And Stormy chewed a hole in the bag. That's why I didn't really have to unzip it. Have fun, guys. And yes, I do have a whole drawer just dedicated to catnip. Um, Kit Kat just came in, the little black cat here. Is it helpful that I name each animal that comes in or do you guys just know their names at this point? Like I never know if I should keep explaining who's who or if people just know who they are. Okay. Dee Dee, you feeling lit? Okay, I'll leave you alone. I don't know why. It's like the damn cameras turn on and everybody acts like they don't like me. You guys, we don't have to be this way. Kit Kat, you're being a bully. Kit Kat, you were wrong for that. She was just trying to have a good time. Nutter, can you not? Show up chaos every single time. Call me Bucky New. Lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about this rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how he find a hope, but still gon' go legitimate? Uh, how he fuck a bunch of but they still respect the women. He's the rolling, it's another. He just got the windows tinted. Homie stab me in the back, and that can never be forgiven. And my pants been itching, man. I like the superstition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. Tryna low bump me, my cojones to the big ass. When I get high, I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like. So as I do this, I'm currently watching Vampire Diaries. I'm on uh, season six, episode 18. So this isn't a spoiler per se. There's a character named Enzo. So they had I knew they had originally said that he died from consumption. This whole time, I thought consumption was like alcoholism. Like he drank too much and he died from being an alcoholic. He was just like coughing in this, um, what's that thing called? Throwback? No flashback there we go he was just coughing in this flashback and other people told him get away or you'll get them sick too so i just looked at it because i was so confused at like how someone with alcoholism could get other people sick 
Apparently consumption is tuberculosis. I did not know this. I really thought this whole time when they talked about consumption that it was like overdoing alcohol or some other kind of drug. I'm not a smart man. So yeah, hopefully if anyone else was not aware of that, now you are now also aware of it and it's not just me who didn't know what consumption was. Also, speaking of Vampire Diaries season six, is the actress who plays Caroline, like, was she trying to have like a music career in this timeline? Because I feel like we've had a lot of episodes this season where she's singing and I don't recall her ever singing in past seasons. And we've had multiple episodes of this singing thing and I'm just kind of wondering, because I didn't watch the show when it was new, I kind of missed when this person was like pushing a singing career. Maybe I should look it up, but I also don't care enough to look it up. But if someone else knows, let me know. Alrighty, so I finished up with the Teals blues drawer with <laughs> no space left. Like there is no space left in this one. I was able to fit one bottle in the back, so maybe I could fit a couple more in here, but yeah, it's basically all full. So that just leaves purples, which I'm gonna take care of tomorrow because it is now 7.30 and I wanna get some dinner. So. Hey everyone, so <laughs> several days have passed once again. It's now Monday. I had a whole cute clip with Sassy, but I forgot to plug my mic in, so I had to completely scrap it. I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can throw it in at the end of the video as like bonus footage because she looked really really cute i'm kind of sad that i have to scrap it because i had saturday's video like already uploaded and ready to go i decided that this weekend i was going to sleep in on saturday i think like 8 30 9 o'clock somewhere around there was when i finally decided to get out of bed on saturday which is fairly late for me usually like Saturday I'm not in bed at that time. Weekend was really nice, it was very low key. And then like in typical, you know, Nicole Loves Deals fashion, Sunday we had the live stream. I was really nervous about the live stream on Sunday because like usually for live streams, I like to have like a plan in mind for something for us to like focus our attention on. And I get very nervous if it's like just me like sitting here talking. I don't know, I just, I just feel like no one's gonna wanna sit there and listen, but <laughs> people did. So I had a fun time, Kit Kat. What are you doing here? Come here, big boy. Come say hi to everybody. Say hi. Okay. Stormy, don't fight. So yeah, we had a lot of fun. At one point in the stream, we did like an unpopular opinions, which I thought was particularly fun. Like I was really nervous that someone was going to, I don't know, ask something like particularly like offensive maybe. But yeah, everything was like all in good fun. And I, I think it was, I think it's fine. So yeah, back to the nail polish. So I want to finish getting the last of these Heather shoes put away and done. So yeah, I'm going to leave space for in case Heather does decide to come back. But I was kind of thinking of how like the organizing is going. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to maybe leave a little bit more space for bees knees currently. Because like I have space in those drawers. But like I don't have an extra drawer to offload excess into. Um... I'm, I still don't know what the future holds for me as far as 2024 and what I'm going to be doing as far as swatching goes. I know there are some things that I want to continue doing and I know there are other things that I know I don't want to continue doing. And so I'm planning on leaving the most space for the brands that are like I have intentions on continuing to work with or also just swatch just for my own personal thing. But yeah, other than that, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. It's a little, it's a little scary. Um, one thing I always forget about is like, I feel like I've said it so many times the past, like since like August in October, I was planning on starting like a little bit of a break, but I realized that like largely when I say these things, it's in the live streams and like numbers wise, like the live streams don't get as many views as like the other things. And so many people are not into live streams. And like, I know people don't watch every single video or else every video I have would have like 5,000 views on it or whatever. But yeah, I always get very surprised when like someone was not aware that, you know, um, some content changes are coming. I'm always very surprised when that like is new information to people, but I always forget, like again, I forget that like, even though I feel like I've said it like a thousand times, that not everyone watches everything and I feel like I'm, I'm yammering on. But yeah, like I'm just, I'm very much looking forward to the content change, but again, like it's not going to be a complete 180. Like I'm still gonna be doing some nail content. I'm just gonna be like condensing it down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get to organizing because again, like I wanna get this video out uploaded tonight to have it ready for tomorrow. So I completely forgot to mention this in the outro of the video, but I wanted to include it in the video, so voiceover. 
Um, in case anyone is curious, after this final day of nail polish organization, I am currently at 2,914 bottles of nail polish. I'll have a link in the description box to my Google spreadsheet where I list all of my polishes out for the whole collection in case anyone just like is extra nosy and wants to see specifically what polishes that I have. Just in case anyone's curious, I also wanted to show some quick cell phone footage of the drawers now that everything's organized. So here we have bees knees. Orange, yellows, and green. More greens. Ooh. And we got blues, purple. More purple. And I'm planning on making this drawer. Wait, is it? Oh, no, we got more bees knees. <laughs> okay, there's more bees knees there. Is there bees knees here? Oh, more bees knees here. <laughs> okay. Okay, and that's it for bees knees. <clears throat> and for Heather's hues, we have pinks and reds. Orange, yellow, green. Teals and blues. Purple. A little bit of purple, blacks, grays, and whites. And then the final drawer is going to be going in there. Alrighty, I am done. <laughs> so this is the final drawer for the Heather's Hughes. I just have a couple of things in brown. Um, so I'm pleasantly surprised that despite me buying from D stashes for Heather's Hughes stuff pretty much blindly for the past couple of months, the one and only duplicate that I found was I'm Just As Strange As You from PPU November 2018. This was the only one. I was really expecting to find a lot of duplicates. So yeah, I was expecting to find a lot of duplicates, but there weren't any. Well, I mean, technically, I did have some duplicates the last time I did a D stash, but I'm not counting those today because like I didn't have any duplicates other than the one. So yeah, I am going to be ending the video here. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a big old like. It really does help the channel out a lot. It really does help the channel out a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. I upload new videos every week on Tuesdays and Saturdays and I go live on Sundays. Before we end today's video, I do want to give a very special shout out to my channel members. Besties, thank y'all so dang much. You guys are truly the best and absolutely amazing. Names, of course, are on the screen right now. And don't forget, channel members, we have a live stream happening this Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'll see you here on the channel. So thank you all very much for watching today's video. I hope you all have been enjoying the non, like, swatching content. Just have a good one. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, hi, Sass. Okay, you're not licking off my lotion. You can sit, but you're not licking off my lotion. All right. Oh, gosh, you really smell, Sass. I love you, but you kind of smell. Okay? So as far as the other Hughes goes, um, you last saw, I think I finished up the orange, yellow, green drawer, and then I did blues and teals, well, teals and blues together. So now I'm going to do purples, and then blacks, grays, etc., etc. Um... We're gonna time lapse this because it's Monday and I wanna have this video posted tomorrow. So yes, we're gonna finish up. We're gonna do a little time lapse. Uh, Sass, you got anything else to say? I wish people could smell how much you smell, Sass. Okay? Are you ready to get up? <laughs> you gotta get up, Siri. Come on, mommy's gotta work.